Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here. Today, Overwatch 2 hits Steam. This free-to-play team-based shooter, whether you love it or hate it, should now be playable on Steam Deck. Will it have preloaded shaders? Will it require a tween launcher? How is it different than sideloading Battle.net yourself and playing it from there? All these questions and more coming up next, so stick around. Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here. Here we are, we're gonna go ahead and do a full install so you guys can see exactly what happens, what it looks like. Do we need the tween launcher? Are we getting any sort of shader caches down? We're not gonna make you watch the uh, entire download, don't worry about that. But we have a few questions we want answered, right? We wanna know whether there's a tween launcher, we wanna know if any shader caches are gonna come down, and how does it perform overall? So uh, this is actually transferring from my PC. So you can see it says transferring instead of downloading. Um, I downloaded on my PC first. And so, yeah, we're, uh, we're just gonna pull a copy off of there. So this has been available to play on uh, Steam Deck for a long time, right? We've, we've been sideloaded Battle.net. We've had plenty of problems with Battle.net being sideloaded. We had a whole month where Battle.net didn't work at all. Uh, so how does this fare out and are we going to see Battle.net problems in the future? Okay, so we sped up that install for you. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, play now. So it said something about processing Vulcan shaders, but I'm not sure exactly how that's gonna pan out. Okay, so I'm waiting for that tween launcher to pop up. Wait, what, no tween launcher? Well, that just can't be. How are they gonna authenticate me? into my Battle.net account. This is looking great, but uh, I'm, oh, there we go. That's how we're doing it. So you can either use the mobile app or use a web browser and connect using this code. I'm gonna go ahead off screen and use the code to log in. And let's see how long it takes to uh, get that up. There we go. Well, that's it. Okay, let's see if we can actually get connected now. <laughs> I'm sure it's a big day for Overwatch. So I'm not uh, shocked if we had some t problems getting in. Okay, well, there we go. Um, okay, nice. Well, this is a start of a brand new season. It's a start of a whole brand new uh, bonus features dropping. There's a lot of stuff going on. Here's something interesting. I'm earning all of the achievements I've already done for the game on my Battle.net account. Look at that. Those, by the way, will continue throughout most of this video. So I apologize in advance. But okay, so here we go. This is actually looking fairly good. Um, let's just hop right on in. The, the next question is shaders. I didn't see any shaders come down and neither did you. So my guess is we have no shaders, which is gonna make this game completely miserable for the first 30 or 40 hours that you play, depending on what you play and how much you play. While we're loading, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the gyro because this game like demands gyro play. Uh, I'm, re I'm inverting the gyro and I'm going to make a couple of quick tweaks to uh, my uh, movement precision and all that. This is how I play it uh, side loaded on the deck. So yeah, now you can say, oh, you shouldn't be doing it as a joystick. You should be doing it as a mouse gyro. Overwatch does not like mixing controller and mouse. It will do terrible, terrible things. So that's why I have it set up as a joystick. Okay, there's definitely something wrong here. I'm set up for Overwatch 2. Um, but I can't select anything. Something is not something is not going on right here. I cannot move. I'm, I'm gonna use the mouse to select something and hope that maybe once I'm in the game, things will improve, but that is not how this normally works. So I think that there is something wrong here. Look at that, those uh, achievements are still coming in. <laughs> um, okay, so we should be in the game here in just a moment. Three, two, da -da 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 -doom. Okay, let's see what we get. Oh, wait a minute, there's something going on. It's sort of playing in the background, but I'm not seeing anything. Okay, I seem to remember in the early days of Overwatch, you had to be in like borderless windowed mode in order for this to work right. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and exit out and go back in and let's see if we can uh, make this work out for us. So once again, we're gonna launch. I'm not cutting a ton of stuff out here. Kind of want you guys to see the, the load times and things like that. This is installed on SSD. All righty then. So we're connecting again. 
Ha, <laughs> the car wash. That's so great. I love how, like, a community meme of setting up a car wash with, uh, okay, here we go. Um, let's see. So, I'm going to go back into play again here. And while we're waiting, I'm going to go in. See, everything seems to be working right. It's picking up controls right now. Everything looks normal. So I'm going to go into skirmish and run around a little bit and see if maybe the problem comes back. Can I che Okay, this is working now. I don't know what was going on before. Ew, look at that nasty... Ugh, it looks so bad. It looks so... Oh, see the stuttering? Yeah, there's no shaders, folks. <laughs> yeah, this means no shaders. So there is an option, though, you can go into. We're going to do that in just a minute. Um, first off, I forgot. I need to set my rear paddles to um, replace the left and right bumper. I, I, can't, I can't stand the bumpers on the Steam Deck, not when I'm playing this game especially. Normally, I go ahead and set um, four... Uh, to my bumpers, and then I set do set five to the click sticks. Even though you don't use click sticks here, uh, I'd rather have them rerouted to something maybe I could find useful. Okay, game is starting. Okay, yeah, boy, there's so not any shaders. This is what it looks like, folks, when you disregard or delete your shader caches on certain games. You ask me why I believe you should leave your shader caches alone. Don't shut them off, all that. This is why. So we're going to go in and change to, um, I think it's, I want to say it was borderless window mode. Oh, I did the dynamic scaling. Okay, turn off dynamic resolution and it'll clean things up considerably. So that was the change I made here. And uh, obviously with all this stuttering, I'm a complete sitting duck. I can't, I can't do anything with all of this uh, compiling going on of shaders. So this is the part where I'm going to tell you, uh, play a lot of skirmish, um, do a lot of, oh, wait a minute, I died and I came back and I lost all the controls. This is definitely a known issue, and I know this happens because of the uh, window settings. I Something about it, it sends focus somewhere else and you lose access to the joystick. Uh, that's okay, though, because I do believe that the fix to this was to um, change from full screen to, I believe it was borderless window mode. Uh, let's go in and do that real quick. Um, change from full screen to borderless windowed, and we're going to apply it. I don't know if it'll fix it now or if I have to reboot to make this work. Hmm... Nothing is, okay, I'm gonna have to use the keyboard here. Nope, it's not coming up. So I'm gonna have to kick out of this game and we will restart the uh, game properly and hopefully the problem will be fixed. This is this was common stuff that happened in the early days of Overwatch with Battle.net. So while I'm here though, I think I'm gonna go ahead, now that we know that it actually runs with the default Proton, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over to GE Proton 8-11. I don't think you'll have to do this to play the game, but I recommend doing it anyway. Um, this is what I typically play Overwatch with is GE Proton. So, plus it'll be a good test to see if GE Proton actually works here with the quote, official Steam version. Okay, come on. Okay, the game boots, great. Now. Let's hope the problem is fixed and we can die and come back and still play. Here we go. Okay, that's good. It's understanding I've got a controller, but will it still understand a controller after I'm dead? That's the real key here. Oh, server connection failed. That's not a good sign. Hmm, maybe the GE Proton is not. Oh, there we go. It's just, it's just server nastiness going on with all the players. So let's try this again. Shall we? Uh, we'll just do a quick all unranked quick play let's hop into skirmish again now uh obviously I, I can die in skirmish but we'll see what happens there we go okay controller's still working life is good now remember <laughs> i've got a whole separate video on how to combat shaders on overwatch 2 i'll try to provide a link or a, a box on the upper corner for you yeah you this is stuttery because there's no shaders. Every character, every graphic, every map, every ultimate, every um, alternative move, every alternative skin, everything here has to be cached. And that means you're going to be playing a long time before you have a 100% smooth presentation. 
So I recommend, again, looking at my video about the shaders. I was just gonna fall off the edge over here and see if, okay, there we go, back into the game. Okay, so we're in a brand new map, <laughs> right? And uh, so there should be no shaders for this, so it should be a stuttery, juttery mess, and it is. But at least we got rid of that dynamic resolution nastiness. Yeah, see, look at this. This is, it's almost unplayable like this. And what a lot of people are gonna do is they're gonna see this and completely dismiss the game and never play it again on the deck, which is really sad because the shaders, once the shaders are done, this is smooth as silk, 60 frames per second. Team-based uh, combat is awesome. All right, I'm just go ahead and just get myself whacked here. <laughs> wow, it's so, I don't, it, take, it takes me way back remembering how bad it is without shaders. But now that I've already played the path, now watch this, watch this. I'm gonna re, look at that. Ah, silky smooth, look at that. There's no stutters or judders because I've already been on this map and uh, this part of the map, all the graphics are, uh, the shaders are cached, but as soon as I get involved with people that I haven't seen yet, look at that, it's starting to judder again. And again, this is all expected. Patience and perseverance wins. If I can figure out a way, because I'm going to be playing the crap out of this, um, if I can figure out a way to share my shader caches, which shouldn't be hard, I will um, probably share caches every week or two as I get more and more built up. I know a lot of people don't believe that that's the uh, solution, but believe me, it is. Just to get a, even though some of them will be invalidated, at least you'll have some of them to get started with. Yeah, this looks great. I mean, it's jittery because of the shader caches, but uh, I'm dying. I'm coming back. My controls still work. Uh, everything seems to be in pretty good shape here. So, yeah, this plays, shader caches aside, it plays exactly like it does if you sideload. When I say sideload, I mean install Battle.net as a non-Steam game, install Overwatch inside of Battle.net, and play Overwatch through Battle.net as a non-Steam game. This is so far exactly the same. Just watch me get my butt kicked here because I'm, you know, trying to record at the same time. All right, so that's it. No tween launcher, big win. No shaders, not a big win. Kind of a big loss. Finally, it plays exactly the same. You'll want to, of course, play with these settings yourself uh, to tidy up and do what you would like to do. I will have another video on this following up. I just wanted to help get you started so people don't immediately dismiss this game. Again, thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified when that next Overwatch video goes up. I'm Shane Armonroe. Thanks so much for watching and take care.